All right, well, I've got a quick little video I put together here. Um, did a uh, kind of a little exploratory thing for me. I've run into uh, portals now, experiencing portals. Uh, 2,000 hours in the game, and just before, I think, what was it, the 30th of Unification Day there? Um, December 30th, I think that's what it was. Um, they had the Unification Day, and I was that's the first time I'd went through a portal. And uh, thought, well, now this this adds a little adds a little to the game, and I kind of want to get that uh, uh, that last milestone, that last achievement, uh, where you visit someone else's base. I think that's the only thing I've got left to, <coughs> uh, for the Steam achievements. But anyway, um, so I just picked a random planet in the galactic map, uh, warped over there, uh, landed at the space station. I was go to the space station first, uh, talk to the NPCs, take a look at what missions are available, what's available at the terminal, um, do a little buy and sell and uh, whatever. Um, and then I uh, come out, use the uh, economy scanner, find a trade post, a trading post, and uh, fly there, do the same thing, talk to the NPCs, see what they have to offer, do a little buy, a little sell, uh, then you jump down and use a signal booster uh, and that gives you the coordinates of the planet and also you can find a monolith so uh, found a monolith and we're going to go back over now and go flying over to the monolith I still have Sparky 1 I got rid of Sparky 2 uh, traded him for one of those red Picasso abstract looking ships. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I digress. You go find a monolith and uh, you need to do some prep. If you're going to if you're going to be doing this much, uh, you need to do some prep. You're going to have to have uh, a lot of base elements, iron, zinc, platinum, iridium, plutonium, thamium, carbon, iron, um, and you're going to need relics. Uh, the little, uh, you can pick up like Gek relics and Corvax casings and uh, Viking daggers and whatever because the monolith will require a uh, an offering in order to give you the location of a portal. This one wants a Corvax casing. Uh, and you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to want at the trading post because the NPCs will also, you can give them a gift. And so far, I think two or three of them I've been at, they want the same item as the monolith. I don't know if that's on, on purpose or by, you know, just coincidence. So the monolith gave me a position to the uh, portal. So we're going to go buzzing over there. It was about 16 minutes away, so we did a little cut and paste there, a little speed up. And uh, we're going to arrive at the, uh, at the portal. And now I have no... When I first started uh, uh, videoing this, I thought, well, I'm just going to go through the sequence. Of course, you now everybody else has gone through the sequence too. I mean, there's other videos out there about you know people using portals. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and throw my hat in that ring too. Uh, so, I've been through a couple others, and uh, I've been putting the uh, portal addresses on uh, a website by Husband Bader, um, nmsportals.tk. <coughs> Uh, you go over there, check it out. Uh, uh, it's put together a pretty nice website, uh, specifically for uh, portal addresses. That's uh, kind of nice. Anyway, uh, basically, I do what I always do when I land. I uh, canvas the area. Um, I've cut part of that out. I don't want to bore you. But anyway, you come to the portal. You have to uh, power up each one of these glyphs. It's going to take 50 of the three basic groups. Uh, you can use carbon. I try to use carbon as much as I can. 
uh, on the red group, and uh, you got Heridium Platinum on the blue group. Uh, and obviously, you got your zinc and titanium and iron, whatever on your on your. I don't carry much titanium with me, but so you got the red, uh, red, yellow, and blue, and you activate the old portal there, and there is the address. Ask it for the address of the planet. There is the portal glyph sequence for this planet. So if you want to visit this planet, there you go. I can't visit this planet uh, through a portal because I do not have the uh, the triangular shaped glyph. I have nine glyphs. That's the other thing I'm doing. I'm running around uh, trying to find uh, travelers and visit their graves and find the glyphs. Uh, I didn't bother with it much early game and I kind of wish now that I had. <laughs> but anyway, here's the portal and there's my nine glyphs that I have and I'm just going to put in some Random. I, honestly, I have no idea about this address. I if it's even going to work when I do it, but okay, it worked. Looks like. And now what? Well, I guess I'm going to go through. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run over to the ship and save first. And uh, again, I'm not. I'm not really prepared to go through this portal. Um, you really need to take uh, the items you need to create an exocraft bay. I believe that's a dynamic resonator, a couple of uh, voltaic cells. Uh, so when you get to the other side, you have a motor transport because your ship stays here. Um, I don't know if that's something they're going to change uh, in the upcoming patches. Hopefully that 1.5 that everybody's talking about will will hit here shortly. It'll be interesting to see what changes are made in that. Okay, well here here, here we are. Inaman system. I have no idea where it's at. No idea whatsoever. Uh, does not appear. I don't see any comm stations. I don't see any uh, indications of a player base anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I have to scan for it. I don't know. But uh, pick up some Heridium. Hard to pass up. Looks like there's plenty of iron here. So put down a signal booster. You can put out a comm station if you want. Uh, but a signal booster is going to tell you how far away you are from the nearest habitable base. And, uh, you know, if it's walking distance, no problem. Uh, normally, I haven't been to one yet that was a reasonable walking distance. Uh, I've been to about five now. Uh, I think this is number six. And uh, so you search for a habitable base. <clears throat> and of course now if you go back and pause the video at some of these spots, you can see what the glyph pattern was. You can see what the uh, uh, the hex address uh, was at the signal booster. Uh, like I said, I did not come prepared. Um, when I started making this video, I wasn't, I didn't even realize, I didn't even, you know, the idea hit me to just try it. So, like I said, I didn't come prepared. On this planet, there's a uh, there's a shelter right over there you could walk to. Not a problem. But the best way to do it is to bring enough stuff with you to make a, an exocraft bay. Um, probably a nomad, because a nomad uh, goes over just about anything. It goes up walls and across water and everything else. So anyway, this is uh, Inamin system. Um, and if you want to move here, you can get the portal glyph sequence off of the uh, off the video and buzz on over here. Doesn't look like too bad a planet if you like this type of planet. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and buzz back uh, and uh, go back to my ship. Uh, and like I said, you can you do this portal jump. You can cover a lot of territory in a lot of time in a very 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 short time. Excuse me. Um, and, uh, well, anyway, as always, uh, for me, this is a, uh, a habit, uh, habit, yeah, it's a habit and a hobby. Um, getting my mind off of the other things of the world, and uh, thanks, Hello Games, for a, a pretty nice game, and hopefully that 1.5 will make it even better. And thank you guys for watching, um, and, uh, and thanks for watching.